Uh, so just as I'm getting uh, homesick for Africa, for Alice, Alice right here, was made in Alice, said there, right there, Eddie Kenny. Eddie Kenny is a closer word for, well, but Alice is one of those princesses from England, something like that. Eddie Kenny is the, Eddie Kenny is the, uh, you know, the, the name, the real name that the, the, the peoples give it. The autochthonous people who lived in there for centuries and centuries. That's their name, right? So this is my job. Oh, you know, have you ever seen my Alice Jumpson? It's like a worker's thing. Now, let me see. This is like a worker's thing, you know? So it's a worker's thing. I can't explain. It's a worker's thing. It's a one piece. And, uh, you know, like, for instance, the EFF, uh, they have red ones, you know, for EFF is the Economic Freedom Fighters under uh, Jewish Malema, right? And they have, uh, you know, they have red. They even go to Parliament in red. In red. In red work crew because they identify with the people's, you know what I mean, with the whatever. So here's the thing. So I see. I can, there's a there's some young cats that always ask me for something, ask me advice or something, whatever they ask me, right? And I give them an answer, right? But they never, they never answer me in full time sentences. They try to, I don't know what they try to. Anyway, but here's a here for instance is a is a exchange we just had, right? Well, just said whatever. And it says uh, because I said something about. Uh, I know Juju, um, uh, Juice Malema was coming down on, on Sir Ramaphosa, who's, who's the ANC cat. He's the president of the country, the ANC, you know, hooked up with other people, you know, capitalists and all that stuff. And uh, he was, uh, and, and, and you know, Juice Malema was, was, was very basically, uh, basically uh, basing him out, you know, telling him that, you know, tell him that, you know Sir, Juice Malema was basing Sir Ramaphosa, who was the president, because Juice Malema is in parliament. Okay, so he's saying, well, you know, you you've never you you've you basically you've never been with the people, you know, but you did everything against people, you know, you killed miners and all the rest of that stuff. So 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 Carla, he see he he sends me an email. Juju is a hypocrite. He's his he's pockets in deep in the VS VBS bank scandal. We can't listen to a jackal in sheep skin on Sunday, J June twenty first, two thousand two. Oh, that's when I sent it, right? Because somebody sent it. So Colin is saying that she was a hypocrite. He's hooked up with notes. He had some scandal with some bank, VBS bank, or whatever happened. So I said, okay, so who are you listening to, right? And he says, the people. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got to laugh. It's time we listen to the real governors of, of the people, not politicians. Like, a, like you said, a basic income <laughs> for every citizen. That's a start, right? Okay. So I wrote him back. I said, like, this is funny. You guys sort of know the character. You got to know Colin. Look, Colin is just an ANC operative, okay? That's, that's all you have to know about Colin. <laughs> you know, he's a businessman in, in, in Alice. You know, we'll be friends. You know what I mean? He, he did, this is a thing called Made in Alice. Uh, it comes from that. Made in Alice is an initiative that he put together. And it gives me, put my glasses on, man, so I can look, I can look good. Like, let me get rid of this. I don't like laptops. Put my glasses. Put my glasses Hey, here they go. I look good. Okay. And so, and so, but he's a good guy, you know, but he's just misguided. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. Okay. So anyway, so that's what's happening in that front. But, oh, oh, no. I sent him a thing. I sent him another thing. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm closing this thing. Too soon. Too soon, too soon, too soon. I think I, think I sent him a, a, a thing. Uh, hey, come on. Laptops, I can't stand laptops. Uh, uh, and it's on my lap, how about that? Come on, get out the way. I, I forgot to re read the last thing. And he said the people's are here. Then I said, based on what data, what policy slash agenda, uh, perhaps you should just chill and recognize hashtag ADOS will demonstrate the way forward. Surely you know by now, it has always been American descendants of chattel slavery who have been the tip of the spear in these matters of struggle and global liberation. I rest my case. Come on, you know it. You, you got to know it. You know, every, if you're gonna have if you're gonna have global insurrection, the tip of the spear has got to be A D O S. That would be American descendants of chattel slavery. In other words, black people from the state. From the United States of North America. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's the thing. Because everything we do, whether it's cultural, whether it's sports, whatever it is, including it excites everybody and everybody wants to get on board. In fact, we had a situation where everybody was sort of like, oh, the, the black people, you know, the black Americans, those guys, you know, the ADUS, they're moving, they're moving. So we got to jump in front. 
We got to distract. We got to do all kinds of things. But no, we on it now. Nah, you know, you, you, we'll, look, the worst thing we could ever do is listen to some white, some white person put it in a thing. Oh, we're still, the black people who want to be white, who black people who believe in these white people, you know, all the races, no, no, black people who believe in that to try to jump in front and lead us and say, oh, I'm black, so I can talk. No, no, they go, well, you know, talk about the people, so we talk about other people. We're not talking about politicians because even that with, with EFF and all the rest of that stuff, they're just politicians and one, they're trying to get up a larger piece of the pie, that's all. So it's just funny games, right? Okay, so that's the, ooh, I tell you, this is evening. I'm about to go to sleep, but I have a special mixture here that I have, huh? Mm. Let me tell you this. So my sister got somebody told about this Activa. It's like probiotics, good for your gut. Whatever. But there's supposed to be one that had fiber in it, right? Well, we couldn't find a fiber. Beans of live and active um, probiotics, right? This is blueberry, and so um, you know I don't I can't read the ingredients, but it's all right. You know I read it before. So I take a little one of these, and I take a little bowl like this. But what I do, take the bowl like that, and instead of getting the activity they got there, I guess they have fiber in it. I use this. Okay, you say what's this? They call it belly fat flush. I don't know. I guess it's an advertising scheme. So now let me check out check what's in it. Don't forget that. Let me in the front. They say also it's, it's a, some diet shake. I don't know what it is. But it's like it's like um. What's that? Uh, you no, know, the fiber thing, the little, you know, whatever. But also contains, right, uh, Garcinia, uh, Cambogia, I don't know what it is, uh, raspberry ketones, right, African mango. Here's the one, here's the one. Moringa something, whatever. Moringa, that is my thing. Moringa. Hey, get yourself meringue. I got my meringue. In fact, I'm going back to New York on on Thursday. So I get back to my meringue bitters, right? And then when I leave for St. Louis, I'm going to get bring some bitters with me, right? Uh, golden flaxseed, kelp, cinnamon, chia seeds. Chia seeds. I love chia seeds. And green tea. And that's what the bulk is made of. And so I mix and I take just a teaspoon, put a little thing here like that, right? I do it like that. And then mix it up, and now I got the I got the black the black grapes that I had before. So this that's what this is. I know I'm not supposed to be eating this before I go to bed, but what the heck? I could do worse. What kind of worse can I do? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I was at Walmart, <laughs> and, it's be, and I was reading the labels. You know, I always read the labels. You got to read the labels. Forget it. Just read the labels. Now, most of these pies, like this, the 50 cent pies that they have, most of them, they have, they'll have um, fruit, that fructose, what's that, corn, whoever, whatever, they have some not so good stuff. So I had to read the label here. So first we have Miss Patty LaBelle, the sweet potato pie. Hey, sweet potato pie. I'm um, black. This is sweet potato. Sweet potato goes, sweet potato goes into a black stomach. We're done. Okay? But look. Good enough. It, uh, where do I see those ingredients? But the ingredients are really good. They don't have the whey flour. They don't have the, no, no, that sugar. And, they, they don't have no bad, no real bad stuff in it. And then I said, they can't be. Then I saw this thing. So I meant to cinnamon. The cinnamon cake thing, right? And it also doesn't have the, the bad stuff, you know, that, that the other people have, you know? So anyway, so these are my two pies. One a day. I'm not gonna do that tonight. Okay, I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna finish this tonight. But I have one. It's tomorrow's Wednesday. Then one on. I'll, I'll take. Then I'll take it with me on the train. So I have me a. Which one am I gonna eat on the train? I might have to get it. No, I'm not. so I'll do it on the train. And see, my trip is planned. And you should have a plan too, because obviously, you know, the world is waiting for the plan that we have. Do we, I know it? I being me, T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. 